applause for a new friend, Louis Rock. Okay, so now I feel like Geraldo or Jerry Springer. <laughs> Please don't throw any chairs at each other. If you do, let's make sure we get it on camera and put it on YouTube. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and ask a couple of questions I think some of the audience will want to know. And from there, we'll go ahead and open it up. You guys can just raise your hand and we'll pass a microphone around. That is really hot. Um, we'll pass a microphone around and you guys can ask some questions as well. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd love to start with, with Lewis. You know, and here you are sitting in the back of the room, and you've said you've watched this video over 300 times at this point. You know, how do you how do you feel as an entrepreneur seeing your seeing your vision come to fruition? Yeah, that's a great question, Zach. And I, I I can only imagine it's the same thing that if you're a parent and there's your child on stage in the fifth or the the five-year-old kindergarten play singing or. Uh, you're an artist and there's your painting on a wall in a museum or anything else. I mean, it was a, a creation that I envisioned that a lot of people thought might be impossible. Um, any entrepreneur that's built and birthed and created a, a successful business or a floundering business, just to have it out there, regardless of, of, um, of its success, whether you want to measure that in monetary terms or uh, its impact on the world, you know, to me, it, it's an extension of who I am, and that's what we as entrepreneurs, when we get the essence of really who we are and what we're out here to create. And I remember Farah Gray said something to me that really just hit home with me. He said, if you want to have a successful life, you have to do three things. He said, the first one is figure out what you love to do. I'm like, well, that's cool. You know, we all want to do what we love to do, right? The second thing is what do you do better? than anyone else out there. You know, for you it might be computer programming, it may be singing, it may be organizing people, it may be speaking, it may be marketing, it may be, it could be anything. But what do you love to do and what do you do better than anybody else? Then the third step, he said, to have a successful life is figure out how you can do what you love to do, doing what you're better than anyone else, then ask yourself, how can you serve the most amount of people out there? And I love entrepreneurship. I love being happy. I love being able to do what I love to do and have it impact other people and be it, have it be a vehicle of wealth creation for myself. So I found a way to do that. And my whole thing is showing you, the viewer, you, the entrepreneur, you, the soon-to-be entrepreneur. You know, if you're in this room, you're an entrepreneur, whether you have your business or not. If I ask you if you're an entrepreneur and you don't have a business yet, just sitting in this room, Having that desire, I believe you're an entrepreneur. Um, so to me, I, I'm just so grateful that I had the wherewithal and pulling together the resources. You know, I was taught that the ultimate resource is resourcefulness. You may not have the money, you may not have the relationships, you may not have blah, 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 all that stuff that you're thinking you don't have. All you need is resourcefulness, and you can create and you can be, you can do, you can have everything that you want in life. You just got to do it. So for me, I'm just so grateful um, that you guys took two hours out of your time and another hour to share here with us to come out here. I'm so grateful for the relationship with Sherry and Cole and Mark and everyone else uh, that I'm developing and growing. I'm so grateful that you're open-minded to see a possibility in this movie, possibly for yourself. And I look forward over the next several months and years to hear where you go as a result from this place. Awesome. So I want